Simon, it was uh, meant to be a big day for Danny Outen today. It was horrible to see him come off after eight minutes. What, what can you tell us? Uh, something in his calf. I'm not 100% sure. Severity or anything like that. But obviously, it felt like he couldn't carry on. Which is disappointing because he's ticked all the boxes to get right. Um, yeah, that's just us at the moment. Is that the last we're going to see of Danny Outen? I get asked the same question outside. I think not many people get to leave on their terms. So, um, and he might be one of them. He might be one of the majority, I suppose. But again, I don't know the details. We've got a few weeks left, and if there's any chance, he'll, he'll make it. But you lost Lingy Sow in the first half as well to, to an HIA. Yeah, uh, head knock coincided with a finger in the eye as well. Felt like he couldn't see, so that became a a genuine sub. And he could obviously couldn't return. Um, well, so we lose Jack Ash with his back, Laney calf. When Cass raced out to that lead, it was all going wrong. Did you take a bit of heart from that comeback, bringing bringing it back to twenty four twenty, or not really? It's nice to get closer, I suppose, but can't take away from a minute. Uh, maybe the first ten minutes, there were a couple of lapses and they scored tries, but after that, for another twenty minutes, our dis defence was disgraceful. We talked about this last week about how it was so much better at, at Wigan. Is it a real case of one step forward, two steps back today then? Oh, probably more than two. Um, real tough to come in here because for mine, I think people took some shortcuts today and took some easy choices when our game is full of tough ones and you have to make more, you have to do them on repeat. Um, if you want to win games and be in games, I thought some shortcuts were taken and you know, sadly I've got to be the one that come out comes out and fronts it, but no, the half, forgive me language, but half arsing, getting back on side, line speed, half arsing it, not doing it properly. This is what happens to you, and really disappointing where I thought last week their actions really didn't match the words. Spoke about they got hold of it a bit. I think there was a bit of talk this week as well about what they were going to do, and I think, as I said on occasion this year, turned up thinking it was just going to happen again and, and got what we deserved. How do you address that? probably need to get 17 blocks from that room, not just the 17, the entirety of it and ask them that question because ugh, I don't have the answer for you. You're in a no-win scenario then are you here? In what sense? In the fact if you can't give us the answers and you're the man who's been sent out, what, what can you do? No, listen, we're in a difficult spot aren't we? We can go on about it every week, the amount of change, you know, all that sort of stuff but I don't know, I don't have the answer how he can give you best and leave it all out there one week and then turn out that rubbish the week after. I don't know. Um, maybe we're maybe we're getting up next week and we get get the actions in line again, I don't know. Depends how important it is to the people in the room. I would imagine it's important to some at the club considering you've got two more home games still to go as well. Supporters will want to know that if they are gonna come for those two games they're gonna see better than they've seen today. Yeah, I hope they get that. I hope they get that. I can't guarantee him anything. Um, based on where we are, we are. We're hot, cold, hot, cold, and it needs to stop. Um, but, you know, again, I'm the one fronting the press here, but the choices we make, you know, the blokes on the field, um, yeah, lap too many, far too many lapses that are well within our control. There's some stuff, some really good stuff at times that teams come up with that can, that can take you out of the game and take it away from you, which is fine, you accept that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot in our control that we're, we're not doing right and we're hoping someone else cleans it up for us, playing a bit of victim, I think. Um, it's not the first time this year. I don't take any pleasure in saying this, but you look like a man who the end of the season can't come soon enough for. Oh, I think everyone's probably will be happy to see the end of it when it comes, but no, I'm looking forward to setting up this week. I just... I wish the weekend represented the effort of people behind the scenes. Um, it's tough. Times. Are you getting any feedback from John ahead of his arrival, or is that yeah. difficult because of what he's doing in the NRL? Uh, we've spoke, we've spoke. Um, he knows well, he's well aware of where we are and, and we're at and what's going wrong. I mean, I come in here and answer your questions, but I'm not, I don't give you every detail of what's going wrong. Um, rugby people, people who've been around long enough, can see a bit deeper, and he knows where we're at and he knows what's in front of us to turn it around. Is this putting more pressure on next year, the way that things are going? this year? I don't know, I think there's going to be a significant change to the group next year, be coaching and um, obviously a number of 
a number of new players coming in. Um, but I've said it on occasion again, it, it doesn't, some of this stuff doesn't just go away. You've got to, you've got to work it away and get rid of it out of your your habits, if you like. Um, I don't know, does this put a down on next year? Of course it does. Finishing rubbish, finishing poor down bottom of the table, it doesn't doesn't fill everyone full of confidence to turn up um, next year, but I, I do think there's a bit to look forward to on that. You, we just need people's patience and um, and belief, I think, as well. Um, we certainly believe, you know, those behind the scenes that we can turn it around, but it's not a it's not an overnight fix. There's a lot of hard work in front of us. Yeah. It's not putting you off coaching then. <laughs> no, no, no. I love it. I love it. Because um, you're doing a good impression of a man who doesn't. You know what I mean? It's difficult. Well, you, you sit here it? every week and have to answer the same questions every week and try and give a nice diplomatic answer. It's difficult. Um, yeah, do love it. You know, you get you get through the week. You get to Sunday. There's an onus on people on the pitch to do their job, and I don't think we did ours well enough today. Just finally, you talk about rugby people seeing the issues. It's obviously the fans who are coming to, to watch. Just speak directly to them. Why should they go to Headingley next week? We might get the up next week. We've on a down this week. Oh, they need your support. Um, I, don't, I don't think anyone's doing it on purpose. I think they're just in, in a bad rut. You know, it's, it's dragged on for a long time now. Um, and we, yeah, We need the support. If if anything, some of those shining lights that we've praised all year definitely need your support. And you know, we'll, we'll roll our sleeves up again this week. We'll have some more honest conversations and you know, push them towards nailing their flag to the mast again on on you know what they think is acceptable, and and we'll see if we can we can bounce back from this next week. Thank you. I thought Lewis and Harvey again come up with some really good stuff. Um, yeah, other than that, not so much to be honest. How would you pick your side up going into this week? You spoke about finding accountability. I appreciate it's the same questions, but it's the same answers we keep getting on the weekend. Again, it's probably a bit of an over to them because when we've gone well, not much has changed in the week around the coaching behaviour and what we're trying to get out of them and ask them to do. We're not, we've not trained less or more in the weeks, you know, a number of times and all that. Um, I just think our attitude on a Sunday has not been good, or game day rather, has not been good enough. And that's obviously, that's happened a lot of times throughout this year. How do you get to the bottom of that? Good question, good question. Um, I don't know, I think maybe a, an end of season reset is not going to cure all your problems, but getting your head away from it for a bit will probably be good for a few people. Um, include myself in that, I think, you know, when the oldies come around we'll all enjoy it, but I think it's being a, accepting your part in it, I suppose, and having that desire to change and get better. And if and if you haven't got it, you know, with a club that wants to progress and move forward and better themselves, there's, you know, there's nothing here for you. Dare I say, if certain people don't have it, then with what's coming in next year, then we'll find themselves not playing and eventually they'll be out of the club. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what number of incoming players we're up to, but it is going to be a significant number. Um, and the standards that have been set this year I don't believe are too difficult to pass for those that are coming in and obviously if they're going to raise the bar, the players coming in are going to raise the bars, we hope they will, you know, the blokes that are incumbent have got to get up to that level or they're not going to, they're not going to feature are they, so there's a lot of challenge and, um, yeah, and competition moving forward I think, um, yeah, the difficult bit is just getting there. No, All good. Has it got to a stage of this season that certain things have become quite habitual now and it's, it's difficult to put those to bed? And Some things possibly, but again we're talking here about, we were praising them last week because they had a dig in against Wigan Warriors, you know, arguably the best team or one of the best teams in the comp and seven days later we're talking about a totally different group. It's the Jekyll and Hyde in us that our best and our worst, the gap's that far apart at the moment. Um, they will never get consistency while they remain that far apart. We I mean, you really need to shorten that gap up, and yeah, all these things we've already spoke about. Bit of time away, new players. Um, it won't cure everything, but it'll be a, it'll go a long way towards. And one other thing, um, obviously we've we've talked a lot about the youth that have been playing. Is it still a case of you know, we're asking too much of them, and how how much are they learning? From Oh, they're learning. They're learning a lot, and I think you've seen uh, that back three, Moy, uh, Harvey, and Lewis progress a lot throughout this season. I think they've made some big strides in their game and their understanding of the game. 
Um, they're still going to make errors and, and you know make those mistakes. Young young players always do, um, but it will do them the world of good, even in these trying uh, circumstances they get in the minutes in.